So I'm O'Reilly for Fight Talk. I'm here today, your cool MTK show, Mr. Matt McCarthy. How are you, sir? Good time, yeah. Yeah, good, mate. How's things been? A little while since we've seen you. Obviously, yep. last fight was a disappointing, very, very close fight, Billy Bird. Yep. Um, Southern Area title fight. How's things been, mate? It's been good, John. I've been, I've been training, took an over. I'm fighting September the 21st. Obviously, the fight I want is the Billy Bird rematch. His dad, his team, they all said they wanted the rematch. Billy said he wanted the rematch. He's wearing a night bag. I want the rematch February. We'll see where he is. He's fighting for the English title against Adam Martha. Good luck to Bill. I hope he wins it. And hopefully I'll get first defence. Because I'll give him the first defence of my title. I don't. I could have won a box someone. But let's be honest, I could have had an easier fight for that title. Yeah. I chose to pick Billy. He's not a bad fighter. 17 1, you know what I mean? So hopefully he's a true champion. Six to his word. It gives me my bit back. It gives me. My rematch, you know what I mean? Why is it you want it so badly? Obviously, you see, boys, that it's a close fight. Are you? Is it because you're adamant you won the fight? I or thought, I thought I'm, if I lose a fight, I lose. Yeah, I'd rather lose by ten rounds than lose 96, 95. Yeah. He had one good round in the fight. Yeah, that was the fifth round when I went down. But the first one was a clear slip. The second one, I took a knee. I took too many shots. I won five rounds clear after that. You know what I mean? So I, I, I think I boxed his head off. I had one bad round in the fight. I don't think you can give it to a fighter on one one good round. Worst ways you can give that fight, worst ways you could could give it a draw. No way. Uh, the commentary, everyone at the show, not just my fans. I had some of these people come up to me after and say, "I thought you won." <laughs> Uh, there's a quality atmosphere in there, there's a quality night, all Essex. Bless you, hay fever, mate, we all suffer. Um, yeah, it was one of them fights yeah. where people want to see it again anyway, do you know what Listen, I mean? Listen, it was a good fight. It's what the crowd want to see. We went toe to toe, we, to we boxed, went toe to toe. That's what it's a Southern Area title fight. I can go fight a bum for a Southern Area title, you know what I mean? No disrespect to Tony Milch, but I come here, he was 13 and 0, that was an easy fight. I knocked him out in the fifth round. Yeah. You know what I mean? Billy Bird, 17 1, it was, it was a step up, it was a good fight, a close fight, but I want no one near my best, no excuse, like, on the paper, no, nah, it goes down as a lot, so I ain't defending my part, it is what it is, but I want my rematch, yeah, I'll give him the chance of my title, hopefully he beats Adam Arma and he gives me the chance in the fight for his time. Yeah. No, a fight like that, where, where, whether you believe, you know, obviously you believe you won it, but yeah. you, you get, you get, it's the hardest fight of your career, do you can learn I, more in that can, than, can than I be, all the victories? I'll be totally honest, this is my really going to sound so fucking stupid that people won't believe me. I don't think that was the hardest fight of my career. I thought I didn't go into the fight 100%, but that's no excuse. I'm not making excuses. He's got he's got the W. But my hardest fight of my career was someone who won six and lost 36. Andrew Patterson. That was mostly the hardest fight of my career, personally. Yeah. Records. I think records are so overrated. It might have been Tony Milk 13 and 0. Yeah. He's boxing I won. I come in and knock him out in the fifth round. Billy Bird. He's 17 and 1. He ain't really boxed no one. He lost he lost to a journeyman and all. So like. Rittles in boxing don't mean nothing. You've got to fight 30 journeymen and be 30, you know, it don't mean nothing. Yeah. It's when you start beating boys who's 40 and 0, 12 and 0, and like 17 and 1, whatever, you know what I mean? That's, that's, when, that's when it means something, you know what I mean? Yeah, All these, you get to a journeyman to a certain level. I had loads of journeyman fights, but because I couldn't get the shot out of time. And I did get the shot. Of all people, Mickey Elliott gave me a shot at a title. Yeah. Like, let's be honest, Mickey Elliott's like a dark side of boxing. Everyone, no one says, no one I'll speak to will speak good about it. But to be fair to the bloke, he, he got me a, a Southern Area title shot. I, even, I know it was his fight on his card, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I've been boxing for five or six years. Promoters, managers promising me this, this title, that title. Sign me, I'll get you this. Never happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, so, it, obviously, you say it wasn't your hardest, but do you think you learn more about yourself? Because when you watch it back, you, like you said, you took a net, you took too many shots yeah. at some points, and you got involved in a yeah. brawl a lot of times. Do, do you learn more from that than all the victories? Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, like I said, if I would have lost a fight by three or four rounds, five rounds, if I feel like I lost a fight, I wouldn't mind. But do you know what? I would away from the fight with me at all. So I personally, not just saying it, I thought I won the fight. And so did 90% of the people on the show. Yeah, yeah they, everyone thought I'd won the fight. It's only him and his team who actually thought that they won the fight. I mean, there's one point in it. If I went, it went down, then I would have, I would have won the fight. So. Hopefully we get the rematch. I want the rematch. Bill wants to say, well, Bill's dad and that said he'll take the rematch. Does he want the rematch? Personally, I don't think he wants the rematch. I think he knows I'll beat him next time round, but yeah. we'll see. So is there any other route you'd like to take if, if Billy, no. for some reason, don't come? Listen, I don't want the Southern Area title. I've had that. 
that was only going to box Bill, get the southern area, and I was going to let that go anyway. Yeah. I want to move on to the English. Now, even if I, my next fight's going to be a six or eight round, I might even be eliminated, a ten round, I don't know. But Where's that going to be? That'd be at Brooklyn Centre. Brooklyn, then right. February next year, we're back here for a big ten round fight. That's why I want Billy Bird next year. Yeah, February. It's a great show. Hopefully, Box Nation will be able to put it on or something like that. I don't know, something big, you know what I mean? Yeah. Two good, like, two good fighters, why not put on a big show? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's credit to us both. Ten good, good fights, you know what I mean? Definitely. Like, listen, I was being so, I thought it was a cracking fight. That's yeah. the truth of it. It was a great fight. So, yeah. mate, I really hope it comes off and there's a, there's a big rematch in it for yeah. you, if not a very big fight in the future. Yeah, no, definitely. Thank you, mate. Matt, pleasure talking to you, mate. Thanks very oh, much for the nice fight. Nice to catch up with you, mate. You too, mate. You too.